Walmart. And we might as well stop at the Dollar Tree because I ain't been there in like three weeks. So. I've already decided I'm probably not going to get any of the Valentine's Day wall decor because I'm just going to stop buying stuff I don't need. You know, it's like, okay, there's stuff like you need, like, you know, you need trash bags, you need toilet paper. And then there's things like, oh my God, I need it. <laughs> like, you know, I can't think of anything right now, <laughs> but Seriously doubt Walmart's gonna have anything left in Christmas stuff. Seriously doubt it. Because it's probably went to 90% off at some point and everybody was like, oh, I need this crap I didn't need when it was 50%. <laughs> you'll be amazed at what you'll buy when it's 90% off. You know, occasionally you can find though, I mean, something really nice that somehow got missed by everybody. Yeah, it'll be like hiding somewhere. Like, I always check around the scanner things. Because people go scan it and they go, I don't want this and just chuck it down. True. I've done it. I know. I always try to take everything back. Yeah, he's really good like that. Me, I'm just like... <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you guys something I have done, though. When years past, I feel bad over it. I may have mentioned this before, but like a sale like you know the christmas stuff halloween stuff whatever's going on sale i have been known to kind of take an item <laughs> and shove it in the back of the uh, shelf or whatnot and then uh, come back and get it later ain't nothing wrong with that because i mean you know it's not like i'm stealing anything it's there for sale and if somebody dug deep enough they'd find whatever i shoved back in there and i dig deep <laughs> And dig deep. <laughs> yeah, dig deep. You can find some good stuff digging deep. Speaking of Walmart, have y'all seen that? Well, it's kind of like a double edged sword. Walmart is raising starting pay to $11 an hour, going to give $1,000 bonuses. Um, by 2020, they want their wages to be $15 an hour. But on the other hand, they're closing like 63 Sam's Clubs and laying off literally thousands of people with zero notice. I mean, come on, Walmart. Yeah, wasn't they saying people showed up for work and the places were locked up? Yep. And I don't want to get into conspiracy theories on my channel, but look up Walmart and this Walmart government. Years ago, close to where we lived, there was a Kentucky Fried Chicken. And one day, the people uh, came in to work. No, that was over in Silva. Yeah, yeah not yeah. too far from where we live. And uh, people came in to work, and the doors were locked. Yep. No notice whatsoever. They were just like, uh, you know, we're closing down. You don't have a job here anymore. And... Uh, you know, they have, like, you can order your... It was right before Thanksgiving, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was, like, yeah. Thanksgiving Day that they closed, I'm pretty sure. And um, people went to go pick up their turkeys and no turkeys. Yeah. So, that's that's underhanded. I mean, that's low. So, I mean, of course, that's not as big as, uh, you know, 60-some Sam's Clubs closing. But something like that really sucks. Yeah, and these were stores that were popular. Well, I am, like, I don't know what is going on with the lighting, but I am whacked. <laughs> like what? What? I mean, I'm 99.9% .9 European, but I mean, I was like, just like, wow. <laughs> it's like, am I in a Twilight movie and nobody told me? <laughs> oh, anyway. Um. I wasn't a vampire. I'm just saying. Vampires uh, don't sparkle. Yeah, Tony has a problem with sparkly vampires. <laughs> So it is back to being cold, which means I feel fabulous. Have you seen that thing on, uh, that meme on Facebook? It's got uh, Tinkerbell and it's like, uh, Dear Dracula, remember that fling about 18 years ago? And then it shows uh, Sparkly Boy. <laughs> yeah. I like Edward, by the way. I was Team Edward. Too old to be either one, but yeah. <laughs> so 
yeah, Walmart, Dollar Tree. I don't know if we're getting about to eat or anything. I'd like to have some ice cream. And Walmart ice cream is actually not bad. And it's like, last time we were there, it was like a dollar eighty four a container. And I was like, dang, that's cheap. But it's got a lot of air in it. I won't lie. You're not getting like Ben and Jerry's quality ice cream. For... Try gelato. Yeah, he's a gelato fan. Would y'all like gelato too? The, um, Telenetti or whatever? Telenetti Sea Salt Caramel Crunch. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, Cookie Crunch. You don't like sea salt. I don't. <laughs> he likes the Cookie Crunch. Oh. <laughs> the okay. Sea Salt Caramel was actually good. Sea salt is hit or miss when you get that. Because, you know, there's a fine line between it blending well with the chocolate or the caramel. And then there's a holy crap I just put a spoonful of salt in my mouth so yeah did you see that um ice cube tray apple pie tied you in yeah I did looked good lady want apple pie yeah that was so cool I love how they were putting it over a bowl of ice cream <laughs> we should really try that because it looked really simple you could get refrigerated pie dough I've got like everything except apples and pie dough and I need to get a little thing of salt for um, when I bake. Because we use sea salt. We don't use um, table salt. I didn't like salt until I started eating table salt or kosher salt. Because I don't like the iodine taste. Y'all want to eat that? You eat that. I ain't eating that. I didn't eat salt for like, well, like 17 years or so. I did not salt my food, so. Well, there's a lot of things I've got her uh, eating now she didn't used to, like mushrooms. I love mushrooms. Which, I've got him eating stuff, too, that he didn't used to eat. The first time I made that chicken casserole, which you can go see in my cooking playlist, he was like, I don't like casserole. Like, okay. He didn't eat supper that night. Next day, when I was reheating it, He's just a little bit hungry. <laughs> so he tried it and he's like, this is pretty good. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, I don't eat stuff that tastes like crap, okay? Well, he would beg to differ. He'd be like, oh, yeah, you do. You eat blue cheese. <laughs> I think that's about the only thing I eat that he hates. Salmon. Oh, salmon, yeah, salmon. Um, yeah, blue cheese and salmon. Coffee. He don't like coffee. Which I don't drink a lot of coffee. Um, so yeah, we are coming on eight minutes. Wow. It's good to be back on here. Um, yes, go to the Dollar Tree and I can start my channel. Get some videos going. Oh, the sun is bright. And it's making me super white. <laughs> is terrible <laughs> so Tony is going to film some videos this weekend aren't you babe yeah you going to get that Lego going got some Lego videos uh, in my mind going to do another uh, Tony Tuesday Tony Tuesday is that what we decided we're going to call it yeah Tony Tuesday Tony Tuesday so yeah well Look at that. Military surplus is on. I don't know if y'all saw it or not. Got no monies. They actually have, uh, I believe it's Stinger missile cases back there. Yeah, a missile case is big. <laughs> I don't know huge. why I want one. Maybe I'll get buried in it one day. I don't know. Oh, God. Shout out to the poor people in Hawaii. What's going on in Hawaii? Holy crap. They, like, put out the... Like... A, an alert like was issued that they were gonna get hit by a missile and they were like oops wait no it's all good <laughs> we messed up like seriously I was like get your sh together I would not mind living in Hawaii except I love snow so but ooh eating those fresh pineapples mm, I just live off pineapple I do not know what is wrong with the lighting. I'm like so washed out. Okay, there I go. So, we 
we are going to, I'm going to get off here because I'm in the little, 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 little. What was that island you wanted to visit? Come on, I want to lay you. Sounds like a good island to me. <laughs> or was you saying something about want a peek a pee pee? <laughs> oh my god, I love that movie so much. <laughs> that is a good movie. Oh, I love both of them. Y'all know what movie that's from? Leave a comment below. All right, we'll be back later after we get our shop on. So we just got back from the store. So we did better at Walmart than we did at the Dollar Tree. So this Dollar Tree haul is probably gonna go on this channel because to me it's not good enough to start my new channel with. So it's cold out. Yesterday it was 61. And now it's really cold. I think it got up to like 32 maybe all right anyway be looking for a walmart haul and a dollar tree haul and i'll see you next time be sure to like comment share subscribe hit that bell so you never miss a video you got anything to say to them we got toilet paper <laughs> thank god Cause that's just one of those things that you actually do need. <laughs> you know how you get. Man. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna get off here, get the cold stuff put in the refrigerator till I do a haul tomorrow. Something I like to do is sometimes when we're in line at the store and checking out, <laughs> I'll get the toilet paper out of the cart and put it on there and I go, Amy, you didn't get the extra soft. You know about your little problem. <laughs> oh. oh, Lord. <sighs> yeah. Anyway, we'll see you tomorrow.